Hey guys, so this is another video. I go to sleep one night, I'm laying there, I can't sleep. I, uh, I'm taking a boat, saber tooth tigers for whatever reason, and I thought, well, my brother's got a saber tooth tiger, right? Like a skull of a saber tooth tiger, it's mounted on a pole, and he sits it on his desk, it's cool as shit. And uh, he got it in Drumheller, Alberta. Where I went and had a whole bunch of cool experiences. Look at my videos. I then thought, well, I'm gonna make me one, right? So basically, I made me a skull, I created a skull in the illusion, in the spirit world. So you create with your own soul, boom, in the spirit world, saber tooth tiger skull. And then I mounted it, put the details in the best I could. I then got up. Went and looked online to make sure I got it right. Saber Tooth Tiger Skull. Punched it in Google. Pictures came up. And I said, that's a nice one. So I molded it again a little bit. Put the detail in it. And gave to JC the store away until I get there. Day after that, I went, and go, where's my skull, man? I want to see it. And he goes, oh, don't worry about that. And he goes, I sold it. And I'm going, you what? He goes, I sold it. And I'm going, I bitched at him. And he goes, don't worry about it. He goes, come with me. And I can't stand living with my family in this house that I'm in. Spiritually, in Zane Illusion, I'm with my family in this house. Two kids on a good day and my wife. I hear everything in my head. I can't go to sleep at night or anything. So I let them go. Out of my soul. Then... Chris goes, I got you another apartment. And it's four stories high, an apartment building. And I'm, I'm in a dream and I'm watching all this. I'm not dreaming. I'm actually there in St. Lucia. And I'm walking around the apartment. I'm looking at it. And I'm like totally engulfed in it. Don't even know I'm laying in the bed anymore. I'm totally there. And he goes, this is what I traded your skull for. Well, I go, how much is it? And he goes, this place is yours forever. I go, how much is the rent and the taxes? And he goes, don't cost you anything. It's yours until you sell it. And I'm going, well, how much did it cost? And he goes, cost you your saber tooth tiger skull. And I'm going, really? I'm like, how much? How much would this place be for rent? And he goes, to buy this place is twenty thousand dollars. And I got it for you. I traded the saber tooth tiger skull for this apartment in downtown St. Lucian. You go out on the patio and you're looking at the ocean where the sun comes up. I'm like, holy shit. Awesome deal, man. I'm like, thank you. So, awesome. I got my own little apartment. My kids are there most of the time. I still don't get any sleep. Anyway, awesome deal. Um, I cleaned it up. All that. It was pretty dirty inside. Whoever lived there before were small. Anyway, I cleaned it up and I got it. Twenty thousand dollar apartment <laughs> for something I created. Listen to me now, man. Listen to me. Okay. So a little while after that, when I got my new apartment and everything, I went. I remember where I got the. My brother got the skull. He bought it in the Thai, Royal Tyrell Museum in Drumheller, Alberta. That's where he bought his skull of the saber-toothed tiger. I, when I was there, I was on the Badlands, and I found a buffalo skull stuck between two bluffs deep down in a ravine in the clay. And I tried getting it out, and I couldn't. The clay was like cement. I couldn't chip it out or anything. So, I thought, oh, fuck, that would look good on my new apartment wall. So, I lay down, willed myself to, to the skull, in spirit, in my soul, pulled it out of the clay, gave it to Christ, and then he took it back to the apartment, and uh, I, 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 when I was taking it out, and I was taking it out now. You got to do your ritual, right? So what I do for my new past lives is I uh, 
smudged it, gave tobacco. Then I reached in, saying something, I don't know what it was, and I pulled it up and it came out of the earth for me. As I got it out of the earth, I gave more tobacco. Then I took a knife and I cut my chest here, and I smeared blood on my hand, like that. And right on the forehead, I put my hand mark on the forehead of the buffalo skull. Awesome, man, I was getting tingles and everything, it was huge. Anyway, I took it back to the apartment, hung it up on the wall. Now, in my new apartment, I got this huge buffalo skull from when the plains of North America ran free with billions of buffalo in the spirit world. Insane illusion. I got my buffalo skull in my new apartment. <laughs> they didn't even have a fucking chair in the apartment. Yeah, I got this buffalo skull on the wall. Okay, so a week goes by. A week, a week goes by. And I'm thinking, <clears throat> all of a sudden I see in my mind, one night, one day, I see in my mind a short-faced bear skull in a cave. And there's water running beside it, and water come dripping down. And there's a short-faced bear skull. And a short-faced bear is from the Ice Age, the Pleistocene, and they went extinct. And occasionally they turn up in caves and dirt and uh, permafrost, stuff like that. I always wanted one. I go, Jesus! And he goes, yeah. And I go, everybody, come on, let's go. And he goes, where are you going? And I just take off. So everybody comes with me. I got three kids, my wife, and Jesus coming. I'm going, I'm going to get a short-faced bear. <laughs> Jesus going, what the fuck is a short-faced bear? <laughs> what are you doing? God damn it, what are you doing? I go, come on, it'll be fun. And so we go, we're flying, we're flying, we're flying. I'm just visualizing this skull in my head. I don't know where I'm going. I don't even know how to get there. I'm just visualizing it, and I'm flying. So my spirit. My spirit, my inner light is taking me there. We're flying. Never been there in my life. Don't know where I'm going. But I'm going to get a skull. So I fly into this place. And all the kids are there. And I, got, I, I get my camera. We got my camera. We want to film it in spirit. Got my camera. Um, we got flashlights. And uh, boom, we're in this cave. This cave has huge stalactites. Stalagmites. A little bit of running water, pitch black, totally buried underground now. But somewhere in this cave, I'm standing, I'm looking around the flashlight, and I can feel the skull is out there somewhere. So we're walking along, and there's another skull, and a little tiny one about this big. It was like a, like a raccoon or a rat or a fox or something. And we looked at it, and it was covered in calcite crystals. Okay, crystals from calcite. And I'm like, holy shit. And so I'm like, we, we slowly took it out, and I put it in a bin for Christ. And I'm like, cool, that's cool. And then we're walking along, the floor, and then we started seeing, I started seeing like uh, clear quartz crystals sticking out of the sides, embedded in the grit and wall and everything. And there was one that was about this big, clear quartz crystal. You know them long ones? It was about this big. It was like two fire extinguishers big. And I'm like... This is mine! <laughs> I grabbed that sucker. <laughs> and then I went, and I popped it right at the base. So I got it out. Chris put it in his bed. I go, this is mine, this is mine. And everybody's freaking out. And the kids are freaking out. Look at me, look at me. And I, I'm filming them hanging. They're up at the, hanging on to the stalactites. And I'm taking pictures of them when they were there playing. And then we walked on further. Didn't see any. We saw other animals buried. The whole side of the cave there's like a stream here with about this much running water and the whole up near the wall of the cave was all calcite crystals like little tiny ones all calcite and there would be like bumps in the calcite and you could tell there was a spine in the cal cover all covered in calcite but it's like a spine bump, 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 of an animal so anyway, we didn't dig them up, we just kept walking. And I'm looking, and all of a sudden I shine a light and I see a big, big, a big, like a bump. 
and uh, I saw a big another bump, and I'm going there it is, and we, I ran over to it, and the bear, the the bear, the, the skull bear, was um, half half like that and half clean. So half its head, like three quarters of it, was covered in calcite crystals. You know, but not the eye and the nose uh, and stuff, but and underneath. But the head and some underneath was covered in calcite crystals. The other uh, quarter of the head was all just raw, just bone, teeth and bone. And it was like this fucking pig. It was huge. Look, it almost two feet. This is better than bear's head. And I was like, holy shit. So I took I got my camera, taking pictures, taking video, took video of all my family and the kids, took a picture of Christ. And uh so they take all that and they save it. So when I die I can go watch the video. I remember that, you know. And so did that. Finally got it out. I took it home. And I'm at the house. Me and my kids are all looking at this stuff. We had to leave right after that because I was about, about 45 minutes in that cave. But I'm going back. Anyway, all the kids are screaming. Christ disappears, comes back. And all of a sudden these guys show up. I heard you were your bros. I'm like, yeah. And he goes, this other Christ. But he's more like a security guard, men in black looking guy. Just, you know, just from my brain. He goes, heard you have a short face bear skull. And I'm going, yeah, and it's mine. <laughs> and he goes, I ain't taking it. You can have it back. But we got to take it. We got to purify it. That's all there is to it. And he walked up and he goes, that it? And I'm like, yeah. And he walked away and took it. And I go, what are you going to do with it? And he goes, he goes we're going to blast it with light. And he goes, most of the time, nothing ever, it won't break. Most of the time, it don't break. And we're going to kill everything. All now, I guess ancient energies are in crystals and stuff from the ancient past so anything ancient that comes into St. Lucian they blast it with light to kill all parasites the parasites are energies, demons if you call it, if you want but the little bug energies, little energies from death and destruction and death and the, the short faced bear it died in torment so it's that torment energy is in there well, they got to purify all that energy before they can release it to me, right? And the crystal, crystals hold energy, crystals hold all that. So they took it, they took my crystal, they took my three, two skulls, and they took it off to purify it. I got the crystal back and the little skull after two days. They're keeping, the, the big skull's done, but they're keeping it for study. And I'm like, I want it back. Fast. We're keeping it for study. For a while. Oh, fuck. It pissed me off. Ooh. And anyway, it's beautiful, guys. This thing is beautiful. So I made a mount for it. I made a creative mount in the illusion. And the skull is about as big as my computer. Can you see it? Well, that big. The skull. <laughs> Just Google short face bear. Google short face bear and then look at the pictures. Oh, beautiful. Calcite all over it. Just a just work of art, man. So I made a mount for it. I'm going to mount it so I can put it in the corner somewhere. And I got a glass case over it. Now they, then Christ comes to me the next day. They want it for the museum. I'm like, no, maybe when I'm done with it. Or you can stick it in the museum now, but when I'm dead, I want it in my house, alongside my other skin. Now, right after that, right after they took my, crystal, my crystals and my skull away, they go, Christ goes, you gotta go in the ocean. You gotta go in the eternal ocean. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about, eternal ocean? What eternal ocean? He goes, you gotta go in the eternal ocean. I'm like, okay, but what? What the fuck are you talking about? He goes, there's an ocean where we all came from, our souls. I'm going, he goes, you're going back to the womb. Now get in the damn ocean. And I'm like, and so he put me in this ocean. And he goes, now feel it absorb all the way through you. And, he goes, and all of a sudden, just like, 
I was like, I was back in the womb, man. <laughs> it was crazy. And he goes, this ocean is going to purify everything that's in you. Any bad shit is going to... Any baddies that you picked up in the cave, it'll purify you and kill you. And it felt like... And I brought the water in. I guess it's water. Call it water. The eternal ocean. Bring in all your chakras. It'll fill you up. All between your skins and your bones and your eyes and everything. And your whole soul. And it'll wash away. It'll purify everything. So. After that. I uh. Second, my fellow. After that, I got. I, I, he goes, You gotta stay in there for 12 minutes. That's the maximum. He goes, You can stay in there for 10 years if you want. But if you go in, you gotta stay for 12 minutes to be totally purified. I'm like, Okay. <laughs> I'm like, Okay. So, I came out. Guess I was alright. My whole family and Christ went in to the eternal ocean to get purified after we left the cave. I didn't know any of this. This is a totally new thing. I'm going to make another video about that after this one. A more detailed one. Because this is huge. The eternal ocean. Holy shit. You guys are going to freak out. I didn't know this. I'm sorry. I spent eight years making videos. Lost one channel. Started another one. Still didn't know about it. But I know about it now, and you're going to love this. This is the best thing, man. Holy shit. You're going to love it. The Eternal Ocean. And I'll tell you how to get there. I'm going to tell you what it does. Um, other than what I told you already. There's a lot more of this Eternal Ocean does for you. And it's for every single human on earth. No matter fucking what. Where you live, what you are. Evil, satanic, normal, zero guy. Last soul on crack. Whatever. This eternal ocean is the place to be. And, wow. Anyway, guys, I'm going to cut this one short. Um, yeah. So I'm going to make another one right now of the eternal ocean. Later.